show this. Yeah, the jerseys, yeah. Yeah, kind of, this is my uh, jersey collection in here. Obviously, a couple of the Kraken. Lightning. Uh, my junior team, Victoriaville. This is the Lightning, and yeah, I got a bunch of Lightning. Obviously, I was there for a while. Uh, this was Midjet Triple A. I've definitely uh, worked hard to, to be where I am right now. Uh, and there's definitely more work to be done because I'm never satisfied. I always want more. And, uh, but that's how I I've, I've was raised. Um, my parents always taught me to work hard to have what first, you want. This is my first NHL game. December 15, 2015 against the Toronto Maple Leaf. And uh, I wore number 65. To be honest, I was never looking too far ahead. It was really wild. It's obviously something you dream of your entire career. And uh, yeah, it was really, really special. All I wanted to be was play for a junior team. And then the next year I was like, oh, maybe um, I, I played one year and now I want to be a good player in this league. And then the following year I'm like, well, I want to be a dominant player in this league. I was always looking at how can I be better next year? How can I be better tomorrow? So this one is probably Stanley Cup final, so we get the 2021. I probably have the 2022, uh, 2020, sorry. I think that's the one, uh, yeah, we won with that jersey. All I wanted was to be considered a prospect, which uh, in my career, because I'm a late boomer, I kind of, I was always like older and like took me a while to establish myself. Yeah, I got my Stanley Cup final stick here. Uh, before I left uh, Tampa, I grabbed a few stick and I'm like, Marty, I'm sorry, but I'm taking one of yours. Uh, Finally, the yeah, Lightning so, kind of uh, gave me a chance and they offered me a contract. What was the question again? <laughs> sorry, I, I deflected. And <laughs> it just gave me the satisfaction of like, finally, I, I'm a prospect. Uh, people see me differently. And that's kind of how I got to where I am. Yeah, it's the right scene to, to have Emma. Yeah. yeah. Right, Ems? Yes. Yes. Do you have small Stanley Cup, you? Do you have two? Two Stanley Cup upstairs. Oh, what? You have two Stanley Cups. Yes. Upstairs. Yeah, they're small, right? There's a, definitely a lot of memories uh, in that closet, seeing all those jerseys and and what they they are, what they meant, and and at what point of my career they they uh, I've worn them. Two hundred points I got this year. Uh, hundred goal. Uh, it was towards the end of the year this year, and then obviously uh, these two uh, Stanley Cup. So like it's it's good to know what it takes to win and kind of what kind of effort you need to uh, uh, to put forward to make sure that um, that 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 you achieve the end goal, which is winning the Stanley Cup. Yes, baby, that's for me. Yes, I roll everywhere. That's awesome. Now I try Good job. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, I'll, I'll put it. <laughs> you want to show your drawing to the camera? Yeah. Come here. You want to explain your drawing? Do you like to go to games? Yes. What do we say when we go to games? Go cracking. Go cracking. Yeah. What do we tell dad before he goes to games? Ball match. Ball match, what does it mean? It means good game? Good game. Do you know what number daddy is? 37. And good job. You're so good. You want to show daddy's garage where I do a lot of work? Yes. Yeah. So Yanni's never in the house. This is where Yanni hides most of the summer. Yes, this is my <laughs> hiding spot. So yeah, I got a bunch of, uh, am I careful with that? Yeah, tools and um, yeah, I like to do a few projects. Right now, I'm ju I just finished two, two projects. So the fire pit balls and um, the swing that uh, is outside, I'll show you guys later. It gives me a peace of mind. I, I love like going down there and, and working on some stuff and, 
and the the feeling you you get when everything is done and it's set and it's hanging and you're like oh like I built that by myself with my own hands and and I'm super proud of it yeah so I probably don't have everything here but this is what left of my notes for the fire pit balls uh, and this is the swing so we bought some cushions. It's that feeling that I love and that I, I'm chasing kind of when I'm building those. And, and the challenge. And the challenge. I, I, yeah, I love the challenge. I love like the next one, it may be a little bit harder, maybe uh, a little bit more difficult like in, in some areas, but it gives me a lot of satisfaction. Uh, so this is the swing. We're still waiting on the cushions, but uh, this is it. And I mentioned I wanted to buy a swing and he's like, no, no, I'll, I'll do it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Are you sure? And then, uh, is this yeah, safe? so this is, yes, it is safe. It's, there's always ways to make it work um, in wood working. So it's not too bad. Right, Emma? You like this swing? Yeah. Yeah. Are, you, are we waiting on the cushion? The cushion is going to be white and it's going to look. When you're good. working a, uh, a piece of wood and it doesn't work, there's always a way to fix it and, and make it look good. and rearrange it and kind of change a little bit of the shape to make it work. Uh, and it kind of brings me back to, uh, there's always like million different ways to get to the NHL and different path. With Sharks Ford, Yanni Gordon, talk about your first season here in Worcester. Yeah, it goes so fast, uh, you know, like here there's, there was a, a good group of guys, so for sure there's a lot of uh, hockey wise I got to work on. So the Syracuse Crunch exploding for four goals in the third period, and uh, one of the big reasons was Yanni Gord. How do you explain that comeback? It was, uh, felt good. I mean, uh, we, we, kept, uh, we kept the game simple. We played the same way all game, and it's really nice to have that win. Yanni, welcome. Hey, I've got a little bit of news for you. You know, tonight is your 250th pro game. That's a lot of games. Congratulations. Uh, Does it seem like that many? Uh, no, it doesn't seem that many. I mean, uh, it goes fast. Uh, it just never stops, right? You always want more, and that's kind of what you're chasing again, the satisfaction and of the accomplishment. So tonight we're going to uh, uh, pep, the PEPS, uh, it's at the University of Laval in Quebec City. We're going to uh, a game I play there every Monday night, it's in a, a, a league. I don't even know what the league is called. It's, it's a chance to put your skates on and have some fun and, and, um, and yeah, let loose on the ice. For people who are not aware, I am mic'd up today. I am mic'd up today. You're gonna speak French like the whole game, like where are they going to I, I it's subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> They're also interviewing my mom over there. This is the other camera. Oh yeah. I feel bad for my mom. She doesn't she doesn't speak English. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Yanni a commencé à jouer au hockey à trois ans. En fait, il a commencé à mettre les patins à trois ans. Il a commencé vraiment à jouer au hockey. À... Vers 4-5 ans. Il était vraiment jeune, il était vraiment le plus petit, évidemment. Yanni, euh, il a eu toujours cette énergie-là, effectivement. Euh, en fait, Yanni a seulement qu'une vitesse, puis c'est le turbo. <rire> Peu importe euh, le sport, euh, il est vraiment intense euh, tout le temps. Ah, ça, ici, ça joue vraiment du gros hockey intense aujourd'hui. You can wave at the camera. Oh. Son of a cheeseburger. So, did you guys, like, what was, like, before you got, went pro and everything, like, just kind of peewee hockey, like? Uh, so, we had two, two practice per week, um, and it was definitely uh, 30, 45 minutes away. And then on the weekend, we had tournaments all over Quebec, uh, and then they could drive three hours uh, to get a, to, to a tournament where you stayed in the hotel room the whole weekend. and. If it wasn't for her and my parents, uh, I wouldn't have been able to uh, play hockey as a kid and play competitive. And they, I know it's a lot of sacrifice, but uh, yeah, my parent, my mom, and my parents were amazing. Uh, and thank God I had them. Okay. Être une hockey mom, ben c'est, ça prend beaucoup d'organisation. Les meilleurs souvenirs pour moi sont 
Évidemment, le tournoi de hockey puis oui du Québec, c'est vraiment euh, quelque chose de magique. Ils sont tout petits, c'est, c'est le grand amphithéâtre euh, de Québec. Ils sont tous impressionnés. Ça, c'est vraiment un beau souvenir. C'était tellement le fun. C'était vraiment... Euh, Je suis vraiment fière euh, d'avoir euh, fait ce beau parcours-là. With three boys at home, my mom, uh, she understood that uh, there was going to be a lot of um, weekends um, in arenas, and uh, she might also say um, I was as much annoying <laughs> in the house that I am on the ice, uh, which says a lot. <laughs> so poor, feel bad for my parents now, especially now that I have a daughter and I know what it's like. <laughs> Yanni aime vraiment la compétition. <rire> Depuis son jeune âge, c'est un compétitif. Peu importe ce qu'on fait, il y avait toujours un esprit de compétition. Ok, tu quelqu'un qui peut le sortir, lui? Il n'a pas triché. Je suis vraiment fière de Yanni. Je suis fière de son parcours. Je suis fière de, de tout ce qu'il a accompli. Je suis fière de sa persévérance. Il y croyait. Il est arrivé. Il y a eu. Il y a eu plein d'embûches, comme plusieurs joueurs d'hockey, mais il a eu un parcours quand même assez euh, atypique. Donc, il y a beaucoup de mérite qui lui va. Je suis très fière de lui. Je suis fière de mon fils, je suis fière du joueur d'hockey, je suis fière du père et du conjoint, alors euh, je suis fière de mon fils. Alongside Lightning forward Yanni Gord, Yanni, you worked so hard throughout your career to get this opportunity. Just how does it feel? It's uh, it's a great feeling. I mean, uh, there's no... a guy like Yanni Gord is a guy that jumps off the page. Nice pass. Excuse-moi, la bouche, je que ta, je que ta monte à dans le milieu. Why? Every game, his motor's running. He's making plays. He's involved in the game. He's not a player that coaches ever have to say you got to work harder. It's that workout, the... you see. Moi, j'ai le fait pour un workout. C'est pas tant pour les skills, c'est plus. Là, ben oui. Tu te donnes un coup là, dans les jambes, là. C'est bon pour le reste de la semaine, là. All I wanted to do was go to the next step. Hey, ah, j'ai it! A hey, nice read, de Théo. La petite slip pass dans le milieu, là. J'ai... C'est moi qui l'ai pas lu. At that point, I was like, ah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's, that's the top of, of what I can achieve. And I wasn't too sad, because, like, my goal was never to... Obviously, the goal was to reach the NHL, but it, it's not something that I was like, oh, this is a must. This is exactly what I want to be. This is exactly who I'm, I'm built to, to be an NHL player. What a move. Alain Blue, inside, out, back in, pass. No, no, stay cure, huh? Stay cure, huh? I was always being told that. I'm small, I'm this, I'm that, I'm never going to play junior, I'm never going to turn pro, I'm never going to do that. A part of me always wanted to prove people wrong. 